I'm Teresa Maddich with Resource Investing News. I'm down at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference. With me today is Frank Holmes, CEO and Chief Investment Officer at US Global Investors. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. So your talk yesterday was entitled The Optimistic Investor in a Pessimistic World. What strategies can investors use best in this current market? I think the best thing for investors to look at is to be diversified. And what we try to advocate to people is that they are 10% uh, in gold, 5% bullion or gold jewelry, another 5% in gold stocks, but you don't buy everything into gold. And then you have other investments in short-term income and dividend paying stocks. So there are many wonderful gold quality companies, like I call quality gold companies, another way of wording it, would be Gold Corp, which pays a monthly dividend, which is higher than a five-year government bond. Okay. And you've also stressed that gold was actually the second best performing to the U.S. dollar in terms of currency. Why is it important to look at gold that way? Well, gold has two characteristics to it, and I call it the love trade, and it's the uh, cultural countries in, in Europe and Asia that believe in gold is for gift giving. And then there is the fear trade, which dominates most of the psychic in North America. And when you look at the fear trade that has money, money is the background, so gold is money. And whenever there's negative real interest rates, gold in that currency starts to rise. Whenever interest rates are positive, where the government will pay you more than inflation, then gold falls in that country's currency. So what we're seeing last year is that only the U.S. dollar had positive real rates of return. All the other countries are, had negative rates of return, so gold performed exceptionally well. Okay, and another thing you've stressed is that bad news is good news for gold. And certainly with the Swiss franc decoupling from the euro that pushed gold up, what other bad news should investors be looking for? Well, the big thing in that, that thought process as a headline was to try to help people to realize events take place that you listen to television and you can become so negative. The market's a bubble. Everyone's got a PhD in bubbleology. And, and so that creates too much fear and people miss opportunities if they're dominated with fear. So last year, oil falls dramatically, but airlines went up 100%. So the idea of diversification, the idea to recognize that someone's a winner, well, who also won with oil falling are many of the gold companies because they're, one of their biggest costs is energy. So all of a sudden they have margin expansion. The second factor that really helped out the gold stocks, you saw this in the last quarter, was South Africa in particular, gold fields was up 40%. Why was that? The RAND fell more than 40%. Now the Canadian dollar has fallen over 15% against the US dollar. So now you have many Canadian gold mining companies are having margin expansion. Okay, so you say oil falling dramatically affected gold. How do you see that affecting other commodities in 2015? Well, I think what's happened with American ingenuity, and that is that ingenuity, not just with a face, iPhone 6, et cetera, it has gone into fracking and the technology being able to extract oil at the rapid rates and convert gas, what they call wet gas, into oil. All these advancements have led to a huge supply of additional oil in America. Well, that has basically triggered a, the Saudis are putting lots of oil in the world, depressing the prices. That's a $500 billion piece dividend to the world. And I think that's very significant. And who it punishes are countries like Russia, Venezuela, Nigeria, Syria, uh, Iran. So it's interesting to see that there's so many positive parts with this beast dividend. I know in Texas, many of my employees look at it as a $50 a week tax break. So they have more spending, so they can go buy a, a nicer car, a more fuel efficient car, because they've just got this huge difference in putting money into the gas tank, it's now free for them. Okay, and on the junior side, where do you see the most value in junior mining stocks right now? Well, we saw a takeover today by Gold Corp, and I think one of the, what we call safe, safe countries is Canada. It's so important to recognize that Canada has common law, not civil law, and rule of law is very important when you're looking at global investing. So with a weaker Canadian dollar, weaker energy prices, and having an infrastructure that is supportive of mining and more informed about mining, the benefits of it. And I also think that when you come to environmental reasons, Canada is the best in the world. 
When you go to many of these emerging countries, you see how disastrous local mining companies are compared to when Canadians come in, uh, the, the care that they have, the quality. So I think the cheapest place are Canadian mining companies. Okay. Thanks for joining me, Frank. Great to be here. U.S. Global Investors trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol G-R-O-W. For Resource Investing News, I'm Teresa Maddich.